Hi, I'm Dr. Marty Ross. In this video, I talk about oxidation medicine using things like ozone and hydrogen peroxide and high dose vitamin C and a UV blood uh, irradiation. Um, I describe how people might feel better with it and I don't think it's from germ killing actually. So watch the video to see why I say that. But I also describe some safety risk that I have and concerns that I have about using this form of treatment. For more information after you've seen the video, click on a link that I have to a full written article which has much more detail than I have in this video. Treat Lime is supported by purchases you make through Marty Ross MD Supplements. So oxidation medicine are agents that um, oxidize. Um, oxidize basically uses oxygen and oxygen-like chemicals uh, in our body. So for instance, our immune system. When white blood cells see a germ, they will get close. To, one of the things they can do to treat infections is get close to the germ and actually release um, um, <laughs> hydrogen peroxide and I believe some ozone they can release onto the germ too. They spit it out at it basically. And that can kill the germ. All right. So oxidizing agents, one of the ways that they can work if they're in close proximity to the germ, if they're right next to the germ, oxidizing agents can kill a germ. And the way they do that is they damage the fat membrane of the germ and they may uh, actually damage the DNA, the genetic material of a germ. Okay, now keep in mind, germs don't have antioxidants. We, as humans, have antioxidants, okay? Now what's interesting, so, so in theory, it would look great. It looks like these oxidizing agents, whether it's high-dose vitamin C, 25 grams, that's high-dose vitamin C, actually becomes an oxidizing agent, okay? So vitamin C, we think of as an antioxidant, but at that dose, it functions as an oxidizing agent, okay? And um, other oxidizing agents would be UV uh, B, uh, treatments, like you're mentioning, um, ozone uh, treatments, hydrogen peroxide treatments uh, can be oxidizing agents too, all right? Now, there are many physicians out there that claim that they're probably killing germs. I, myself, am doubtful. I think there's another effect that they may have. And the reason I'm doubtful is one of the uh, researchers that's done a lot of work looking at oxidation medicine uh, conducted some test tube experiments. And what he did in these test tube experiments is he had bacteria and then he would mix it with just a little bit of blood serum, the liquid part of blood and ozone. And what he found, I believe in the experiments, is that if he just used germs and ozone, he could kill the germs. All right. But if he mixed, I think it was 10 percent of the liquid volume was the plasma or the liquid part of a patient's blood mixed in with these bacteria, and then they would introduce the ozone, they found no killing at all. Okay, now, why is that? Well, the reason is our blood is full of antioxidants, okay? So the, the issue is that, yeah, on, on a Petri dish and some of these test tube experiments, it looks great, ozone, UVB, which oxidizes blood, all these things that can do oxidizing look great on a test tube. I don't think they really work in us to kill germs, though. I don't think that's how they work because if you because there's all this blood in, in us is full of antioxidants. It's protecting us from the damage of oxidizing agents. Okay, so let me give you another idea. So, in anti-aging medicine, one of the biggest things that's used are ox, antioxidants. They tell us to take antioxidants to prevent the effects of aging, and what that's doing is preventing, is fixing trying to keep these oxidizing agents from damaging our cell membranes, okay? All right. Now, if you look at studies about oxidizing agents, though, there is one benefit that they have. They actually lead higher oxygen levels within our cells. And if you get more oxygen in inside of a cell, that can help the energy factories in the cells called mitochondria work better, okay? So people, when they do get they feel better after ozone treatments or they feel better after UVB treatments or high dose vitamin C, it may be that it's because of the oxygenation, the improved oxygen delivery to the energy factories called mitochondria in our cells. They, they may be able to work better and produce more energy, all right? Now, the concern I have is that I know a number of my colleagues are using ultraviolet and uh, ozone treatments, et cetera, for more ongoing long-term treatment, all right? The ish concern I have, we have no long-term studies that say with repeated use of oxidizing agents, might we be harming the cell membranes or our own genetic material, all right? Remember, these are oxidizing agents.
even though our blood is full of antioxidants, maybe at a point we overcome that, all right? So I have a safety concern about using these long-term. I do think on a short-term basis, I'm okay with people. And when I had patients I was treating, I was okay with them getting them on short-term basis. I wasn't doing it in my practice, but they would see other people that would do that. And I'm talking maybe four to eight treatments, but I don't think we have long-term safety information. And again, the test tube experiments would suggest just a little bit what makes it so they can't kill germs. I don't think you're getting killing effects here, okay? All right. So I have a whole article about those, and I'll show it to you, and I, 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 where I cite the science. I'll give you the references on the science there, too. I'll show you that in just a minute, all right?